What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we're going to be doing another Amazon favorites, but today's is going to be a hot girl summer edition. These are all of my summer must-haves from Amazon, like stuff that I absolutely love. We have some beauty, some skincare, some hair, lots of really, really cute clothes. Amazon is like one of my favorite places to get clothes. Everything is super affordable, but so cute. Really cute summer shoe options, like so many good things that I'm so excited to share with you guys. You guys know, as always with my Amazon videos, I will list everything right down below in the description with all of the links. And then I do have an Amazon storefront where you guys can shop all of my favorites across all of my Amazon favorites videos that I have done. So I will link that all down below in the description box. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. First things first, we need to talk about these earrings. You guys, I have been searching for this earring for so long. So these look like a very high end earring that is like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. They're like a little gold bean. This is what they look like. And I've ordered quite a few different varieties of this off Amazon, but none of them were quite as good as these ones. They are literally perfect. Like how stinking cute. I absolutely love them. And the thing about these, which is so nice is because they are like quite big, they look like they would be heavy, but they're not. They're actually really light because my ears are super sensitive. And so if anything's like tugging on them, I don't like it. So these are still really light and they just look so cute. They are such an adorable summer accessory. Like, could you imagine these with like your hair up in like a bun or something or even hair down, whatever, but I absolutely love them. The best dupe by far that I have found on Amazon. Now let me get up exactly how much I paid for them. $14.99. Like, are you kidding? And they come in silver. I already ordered them in silver. Literally as soon as I got these, I ordered the silver ones. Cause I was like, I need them in every color before they sell out. I like know that they're going to sell out, but they are so good. I love them so much. I actually think I'm gonna wear these tonight because they're just so cute, but wanted to mention those. Okay, switching gears to a few beauty things. Two things that I wanna share with you guys that I've been loving, both of which I have on me right now. Bondi Sands Arrow Tanner. I've said this 7 million times. I'm an SPF girly. I don't mess with real tans. Like sometimes, obviously, if you're just out in the, in the sun, like even if you're wearing SPF, your skin might get a little tan, a little burnt if you're like me, like I hear you, but I always, I'm wearing SPF. I really don't like sit and bake myself in the sun. I used to do that when I was younger and I just know that that is not good. Both of my parents have struggled with skin cancer and it's just not something that I mess around with. But I still like to look, you know, nice and glowy and tan in the summer. So this is the best tanner that I have found. And let me tell you, I have tried so many. I have self tanned for, I don't even know how many years. I've tried a lot of self tanners. There are so many good ones on the market now. I feel like when I first used self tanner, there was very little options and they were all like orange, patchy and horrible. There are a lot of good options, but this Bondi Sands Arrow to me is my personal favorite. I do have it on my skin right now. I feel like it gives a very natural like olive tan color, but beyond that, the way this wears off of the skin, in my opinion, is much better than a lot of other self tanners are. It wears very evenly. Other self tanners that I've used are a very nice natural color like this one. Some may be even darker because this is the ultra dark formula. So this is like the darkest one that they have. And I've tried others that are even a little bit darker, but they don't wear as good. They wear off really patchy where this one really does like wear off evenly. I do like moisturize my skin pretty much every day or every other day at least. This one just wears a lot better. I normally will apply it like maybe once a week, but even even on that seventh day, it doesn't look like atrocious where with some other brands like on the seventh day, it's like you need to scrub this off your body now because you look really patchy and crazy. So to me with this one, it's really the way that it wears that I really love it. And I just ordered it off Amazon. You can get it in store, I believe at Walgreens, but it's typically cheaper on Amazon. So I just grab it from there. So, so good. Highly recommend if you want a little bronzy glow this summer, but you don't want to be outside damaging your skin or if you have like a wedding, a special event, a vacation or something that you want to be a little extra tan, definitely a great option. They have a bunch of different self tanners, but that one is my favorite. And another new product. So TikTok convinced me to buy this. This is the Color Wow Raise the Root. Now my hair might not look very like, you know, lifted right now. Obviously it's straight, so it's not like curly, but my hair naturally is very, very flat. And for me at the root, like having this little bit at my root is actually like a lot of lift. So this definitely helps to give lift in the root area. I've seen other people where their hair is like crazy lifted with this. I don't get that crazy lift, but again, my hair is fine, naturally very straight and flat. So I have really, really been liking this and it does help to give like a nice natural lift to my hair. So if you were like me and you saw this on TikTok and got convinced to buy it, it does actually work. Um, again, like I said, I don't get that crazy lift I've seen other people get, but I just ordered mine on Amazon and tried it out and I have really been liking it to give a natural natural looking lift to my hair, but it doesn't make my hair like greasy or oily. Like I don't have to wash it any more frequently because with other like root sprays, I found that I have to wash my hair a lot more frequently. They like make my roots oily. I don't get that with this. So 
love. Okay, up next, I have two Skims dupes that we must talk about. First, we'll do the bodysuit. So we all know this viral Skims bodysuit. It looks just like this. I actually bought the Skims one and returned it. It was just, I don't know, I didn't really like it. And I thought for the price, like it was gonna be more revolutionary because I wanna say the Skims one was like around... 60 to 70 dollars this one was 37 dollars on amazon i will link it the exact one down below because i've tried a couple that are dupes i'm telling you this is the same thing like i'm not I, like to even call this a dupe i really feel as though i can't know like confirmation this because i have no idea to me if you would give me this and the skims one i really don't see them being different it feels the same it looks the same it gives the same amount of like shaping to your body and i felt much better about spending 37 dollars versus like 70 dollars on it comes in a ton of different colors and honestly like i said like literally i feel like they're from the same manufacturer again i don't know that for sure i just feel like they are quite quite similar it has the adjustable straps in the back looks really cute like with a pair of jeans or if you just want to wear it underneath something but it can definitely be worn as a top on its own i love this it's the best dupe that i have found for skims um now another one is the skims dress the like ribbed summer kind of skims dress i got this one from amazon and does look quite similar but super flattering on the body way cheaper and such a good basic dress to just have in your closet i have another one that's more of like a material of the shapewear like this kind of shapewear material where this one is just like a real dress material like it's actually ribbed if you can see it it doesn't like look like shapewear or anything at all it's just a really pretty nice black dress super cute on i personally really really love it and I feel like it can be dressed up, dressed down, very flattering on the skin and a great staple basic to have in your closet. Again, this does also come in a variety of colors, but I just got the black because that's always my go-to, whether it be winter or summer, doesn't matter, but love those. Okay, switching back gears now, I talked about my slathering of the SPF as always. Now I am particular about the SPF I put on my face versus the SPF that I put on my body. My face is sensitive. I have very acne prone skin. So some SPFs can make me break out. I ordered this one off Amazon. It had good reviews. This is from the brand The Lab and it's their Hyaluronic Acid Sun Essence. So I saw this and I was like, oh, Hyaluronic Acid because I love that in my skincare and I have dry skin, so I'm all about the hydration. And then plus it being a sunscreen, it's SPF 50. I love this stuff. I'm gonna put some on my hand. It's super lightweight, blends into the skin super easily, like leaves literally no white cast, but gives such a pretty glow to your skin. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. It feels like a skincare product, which is why I really like it. Cause sometimes sunscreens can be sticky and oily and greasy. And I don't want that on my face, especially when I'm wearing an SPF every single day. So I am definitely particular and I do really love this one. Super lightweight. Like I said, it's not going to feel like you have like sunscreen on your face. It's just going to feel like another skincare product. Nice and hydrating, no white cast. It's from a K-Beauty brand and I really, really like it. And it also does not sting the eyes. Some sunscreens really sting the crap out of my eyes and then I cannot wear them where this one does not sting my eyes at all. So love, love, love. If you are looking for an everyday sunscreen for your face, definitely check this out. I really, really like it. Okay, up next, this is a definite essential. I mean, I use these all year long, but especially in the summer when we're, you know, in our bathing suits, wearing less clothes, we don't have time for ingrowns, okay? Nobody likes to look at ingrown hairs. I don't like the look of them, the feel. We all know lots of ingrown products don't work for me. I have tried a lot of them and I don't know, a lot of them just like irritated my skin. I felt even more and just made it worse. These ones, these are from First Aid Beauty. They're their ingrown hair pads. Work like an absolute charm. They're pre-soaked pads. So you get the pads in there, they're already pre-soaked. You just wipe them on any areas that you shaved. After you shave them, you wanna make sure your skin is dry. So typically, I mean, I'm assuming you shave in the shower like me. Get out of the shower, dry off, whatever, make sure your skin's dry and wipe this pad on any area that you shaved and you literally will not get ingrowns, razor bumps, anything. It works like an absolute charm. It took, I wanna say, like two weeks of me using it consistently to see results. Like it's not gonna be instant the next day, but then I definitely was like, oh wow, okay, those things are actually really working because I have sensitive skin. And I would pretty much always get like ingrowns and red bumps and stuff, and this has really helped. So I love First Aid Beauty. I love like their KP scrub and stuff too. So their products are tried and true and really work, but these work like a charm if you're like me and prone to razor bumps. Try these out. I think they'll really help. All right, you guys, up next, I have a bunch of different pairs of shoes. I went a little crazy on shoes. I was like, I need more flip-flops. So many of my flip-flops were literally like five years old and like falling apart at this point. So I was like, okay, we need to get some new ones up in here. And I got the cutest ones. First things first, are you kidding me? These I am obsessed with. They were literally like $40. Can we look at that shine and sparkle? I just absolutely love them. 
and they're memory foam. So they are so comfy on. These are like my everyday. I have worn these a million times since I got them. Like, oh my gosh, I love them so much. Like pretty much every day, I think I've worn them since they arrived and they are just so stinking pretty. Obviously I'm like a glitter sparkly type of gal and I just absolutely love these. They're so pretty and super affordable. Because they were cheaper, I thought when they came, they would kind of look like chintzy, like they wouldn't be really cute. And these are just so cute. I love them so much. And like I said, they're so comfy. So really great for every day. Clearly I went on like a rhinestone kick because I also got these. These ones are more of like a flip flop where it actually will go through, you know, your toe, but also really, really pretty. These ones are Steve Madden. So they were more expensive. I think these were like 60 something dollars. So for me, that's more on like the higher end of what I would spend on a shoe, but they are really beautiful. And the rhinestone detailing is really, really pretty. And they have like a little heel on them and very comfy. So I'm happy with my purchase, but these ones are definitely a bit more pricey. Uh, than these, but both you can't go wrong with. And then also I got these, like I said, clearly I'm in my rhinestone era, but I also got these cause those were more silver rhinestones. So I got these that were more like gold. If I had these to go with like a different outfit where I needed gold, I thought these were really pretty too. And these ones are super affordable. They were 25 bucks. So really, really cute and also comfy as well. These are not the memory foam. So I would say the memory foam ones are a little bit more comfy, but these are still comfy as well. And I really like them. So Clearly I went a little crazy on like the casual flip flop sort of things. Now I did repurchase a pair of shoes. I bought these last year and I wore them to literal shreds. I wore them so much to like literally every event, every wedding that I went to and they were just like done, especially cause they're white. So I ordered another pair cause these are literally the most comfortable summer heel. First of all, they're so cute. Like I love the heel. It's just different. It has the square toe. I love the white. They're very easy to walk in. They're very comfortable because the heel is not that tall. I think it's like three inches or something. And trust me, I feel like they don't look like they would be comfortable, but I'm kind of a baby now with my feet and I'm, my feet are uncomfortable. I just don't want to wear them. I can wear these for hours and hours on end, which is why I wore them to literal shreds last summer. So I was like, all right, I got to order another pair. Again, these were like 40 something dollars. So not super expensive, but they just look so cute. Whenever I wear them, people are like, oh my God, I love those heels. Where did you get them? I'm like, girl, Amazon 40 bucks. So I ordered these again and I'm hoping that I can keep them in nice white condition. Unlike the ones that I got last year, but they are so, so stinking cute. I just love them so much. So wanted to mention that. I think I've talked about these before in a prior Amazon faves, but still love them. Okay. Speaking of weddings, special events, I actually got this dress for a wedding that I have coming up. It doesn't look like much when I hold it, but I'll put in a picture of me wearing it ties in the front here. I got this last year in green wore it a ton. It's such a pretty flattering dress. It's like an A-line and it goes flowing down and you can adjust the top by tying it. It's just so, so pretty, really beautiful for like wedding, baby shower, bridal shower, special event that you may have coming up. Very comfortable, lightweight. I absolutely love this dress. So pretty. Like I said, it comes in a million different colors. So I have like a deep olive green one that I brought on vacation with me last year when we went to Greece. And then I got this pink one for some upcoming events that we have this summer, but such a good dress. If you need something that's a little more dressy, but you still want to be comfortable. Now I also got this dress, which I feel like would be also perfect if you have like baby shower, bridal shower, any sort of like special cute little event. This is a long sleeve, but it's a thin material. So it's nothing crazy. Not gonna make you like super hot, but flows down. You can cinch the waist and tie it in. And then it does have buttons at the top so it can be adjustable. You can like, you know, leave more buttons open, button it up if you wanna go that vibe. And I love this pretty floral pattern. Just such a cute dress. I had one like this from Zara like a couple years ago and I don't know what the heck happened to it. But then I saw this one on Amazon. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I know there's like a high-end brand. I think it's Zimmerman that makes like dresses that are similar to this, but they're like really expensive. So. I got the Amazon one and I absolutely love it. It's just as cute and a lightweight, pretty little summer dress. And then last but not least for clothes, I just got this in and I was unsure if I was gonna love it. And I really do. It's like this tan checkerboard print dress. It's like a thicker material. It's like a thicker kind of sweater material, but it's tank top. So it doesn't have like sleeves or anything. So still definitely very appropriate for summer. And I wasn't sure if I would love it in person, but it really looks cute on. It's very comfortable. And I feel like the print is like funky and kind of cool. It did come in a couple different prints, but I really liked this kind of like tan checkerboard sort of vibe. And I'm really excited to wear this. I feel like you could dress it up or dress it down and you could also definitely accessorize it with a bunch of different things. So we're going to Europe next month. And so I think I'm going to pack this with me and wear it there, maybe with like a white linen shirt or something over top might look cute, but yeah, I grabbed this and it does have adjustable straps, which I love too. So you can adjust them to your preference. So loved that. And then last but not least, we have this brow gel. So y'all know the got to be like hair gel. I feel like the boys like in middle school use that, um, or you could definitely use it like now too, but still anyways, I've seen like for the past couple of years, there'd be people that would actually use that on their brows, like the gel that's meant for your hair. 
So I guess they saw it and they created their own brow gel. Like they put it in an actual brow gel container with a spoolie and everything. So I heard that it was really good. So I decided to try it and it really is good. A lot of times drugstore brow gels, I don't love because they can really change the like color of your brows and make them a weird color. Or they can also just make them look like crunchy and just not the vibe. This one really doesn't do that. It picks your brows up, sets them in place, but it's not gonna change the color and not gonna make them like super crunchy or a weird texture. So I really, really like it. It was eight bucks. And this is what the spoolie, this is what the spoolie looks like. So you can just run it through your brows and it's a big container too. So I feel like it'll last a really long time and it's really, really good. So love that. Love to find great affordable beauty stuff as you guys know. So yeah, that is everything you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I will have everything listed right down below in the description box. If you guys want direct links to products, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.